I had a recent trip to Georgetown in Queensland. It's located about um, 380 kilometres west of Cairns and some of the cattle stations there will let you on to metal detect in the area. It can get very hot up there so remain well hydrated and um, there's little shade so be prepared to be fit. This clip um, is just me going through part of the landscape and you'll see that the uh, termite mounds are, are grey in this area and um, later on you'll see the change into the highly mineralised soil of the red which is um, supposed to be from the dolerite I think and in places even the grass is red from the, from the stain of the rock these transition areas between the grey and the red are said to be good detecting areas. I've come uphill from the car can see it right down there and that gully that I found the gold in or the creek is down there and then up here you have like a fault line running through and all sorts of rock around and you'll see there's one lot of rock there and you've got a, a gap in the middle and then another lot running along there so I don't know whether anything might lie in between and I'm not sure whether it's uh, actually been mined here at some stage and pushed but wandering between them Just wanted to show you what you can be up against around this area in that you've got to get your detector where you can pick up a signal and this cross section of a creek bed will give you an example you see the top soil there is quite deep very little rock in it so, in all likelihood, the gold would be down lower and then even lower still. And you can see here the changes in the, the soil and the texture and the layers of obviously where the, the river has run. And then it runs down here and spreads out. There's a tree here blocking it. Watch my footing on this, all these rocks. And you have the big sort of build up of sand that could be feet deep, yards, meters deep. And then you get the scouring out sections where it's gone down to the bedrock. So if you're up on top there trying to detect, unless there's breakdown surface rock, chances are you're not going to find much gold up there. It's going to be too deep. See along here. Water has scoured in against the the wall here where it's it's hard to say what that is. It's very chalky. Whether it's like a calcrete. So over the years 
gold would have been washed down and deposited in amongst all these pebbles. I was lucky enough to get a couple today, but when you look at it, the expanse of it, unlikely that you'd get anything at the surface. A bit of a storm coming through over there. Gotta make my way back to the car. And that outcrop was right up through there. So a lot of it could have washed down from there or even up the other side over there. In his book, uh, Golden Ghost, Volume 4 of Queensland, David de Havilland talks about several indicators to look out for where gold is found. And one is sickly sticks or prickly mimosa bushes, which appear to be attracted to areas of high concentrated mineralization. Another plant that he mentions is the emu berry. Um, it's a native remedy used by the Aboriginals for dysentery and it's also known as dog's balls. I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this um, presentation. Just to give you a bit of a background to the area, what it looks like. Pity that gold is not quite as prevalent as it was in de Havilland's day.